are the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. God will reveal himself to those that draw close to him. Reading the word, coming to church, clapping hands, singing nice worship songs, giving your offering and your tithe, that is not good enough for God. God says, draw to me. It's like a magnet. It's like a magnet. When you have a magnet and there's something that's of steel, that magnet will draw it. I pray that God draw you and you draw rather closer to God like you've never been before because there is a secret place. Are you with me, church? Every one of us face seasons in our lives, face things in our lives that we will force some of us to seek shelter, a place of refuge from not only physical disaster, but those emotional and sometimes spiritual storms that we face. We seek shelter. God is our refuge. There is this place that is called a dwelling place. Those that dwell in the secret place. Those that spend time. There is an aroma that God gives off when you're in His presence. An aroma of no more worry. Aroma of no more fear. Aroma of no more stress. God gives off that aroma. <sighs> when we pray and God inhales our prayers, like in the book of Revelation, the Bible said the angels come and they mix our prayers with incense and they bring it before the nostrils of God. <sighs> if God inhales that He exhales our answers. There is a place in God where you need to get to. There is a safety place. What do they normally say when you have a pistol? And uh, they say you must put it in a what? Safety box. Get a safe. Why? Because when the thing is just laying everywhere, anyone can get it and do their job. But when it's in a safe place, no one has got access to it except the person with a code or with a key have access to the safety box. The devil cannot have access to your life when you're in God's safety box. He cannot penetrate through it. He needs permission to get to where he wants to go. And you and I are the only people that give him permission to do what he wants to do. Because when I'm in God's safety, when God draws a hedge around me, nothing can come to me because God is now my hedge. He's my refuge. There is a safe place in God. Safety is on the inside. Your organs on the inside feel safe. Because it's protected by the flesh, the bones around it. It feels safe. There is a safety inside of you when you get into God. There is a place that nothing will matter to you any longer. To some of you I speak over your heads, I can sense it. But I want to get to your heart. Get this message. Get this word. There is a place in God that no one can find you. In the olden days with the gangsters, when we, you did something wrong as a gangster and they're looking for you, you go to another township and you think you are safe. Three days they find out where you are, then you have to run again to another place. Is that so? Here was you any gangsters, brothers? Yeah, man. Jesus. You look like me like a sophagalian. Nonsense. Evangelist, is it safe? Yeah. You had to hide. After that, whatever, I don't, uh, you say it yourself, I don't say it. You have to come, Elder Joe, you were safe from babies there, I can see that. <laughs> but then you have to run, and then they find out where you are, and you have to run again. And then they catch you, and then you run again. And then they find you run again. But there's in a place in God 
where you don't have to run. You can be secured or rather be confident that you are secured when you're in the secret place in the safety box of God. You don't have to run away from anything because all power and authority has been given to you and I. Jesus. There is a safety that's on the inside of you. A lot of people look toward God in trouble. And I pray and I hope this morning uh, to God, when trouble comes, I'm not going to hope to Him. I'm going to run to Him. There is a difference on just hoping. But now I'm going to run to Him when trouble comes. I'm going to rest in God. And I'm going to rest assured in Him. The book of Psalms 46, I'll read it for you quickly. Uh, uh, from verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. God is our refuge. He's our strength. When I'm in trouble, He's my help. Because He's my Ebenezer. Up until thus far, God has helped me. He's my refuge. He's a, my strength. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Again, we will not fear. We will not be afraid. There's a safety place in God. I will not fear. I guess when you go home tonight, when you lock your doors and the burglar bars, when I was in England, I didn't see burglars. I've never seen burglar bars on windows and things. It's just here in Africa. We must pray for Africa. <laughs> but when you go in and you lock your doors, you're not afraid because you know you've securely locked your doors. But when you hear a little bit of wind and the roof going or the trees, then, then, then fear starts coming in again. There's something in the yard. There's someone here that's looking. Go and look. The dogs are barking. There must be someone. No, 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 no. When you in God, listen to me. Listen to me. That's how I live my life. When you in God, you are safe. I have this, and I always say it. There's a lot of things that a burglar must meet up when he comes to my place. First, I have to meet up with the burglar bars, or the locks on the doors. It's to meet up. If he comes through there, then he comes in, then he must meet up with the blood of Jesus. Just, just say, just say, he gets through that. Then he must meet up with my angels. Just say, I didn't command them to take charge. Just, just say that. Then, after all that he met, he must meet up with the owner. Beware of the dog. But when you've locked, you feel secure. I guess at prison as well, that's how it happens. When they lock you up in a cell, there's that big keys. My goodness. You just clang, 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 clang. The people that locked you up, they walk away, they know you're safe in there. I need to get to a close. They know you're safe in there. And they walk. Now, there's a place in God where you get in and there's nothing that bothers you. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. La 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 I've got peace I don't know the words but I've got peace Like a river in my soul 
I'm telling you, let the storms rage around you. When you get into the secret place of the Most High, you don't have to fight anymore. Someone is fighting on your behalf because you're in the secret place of the Most High. There is safety in the secret place. Yeah, there is safety. Yeah. 